Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'll be talking about the latest release from Tom Ford in his private blend collection called Soleil Neige. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover Thanks so much for tuning in to BFL today. As always, I really do appreciate it and hope you're all doing great. If anyone were to ask a BFL subscriber what he or she thinks BFL's favorite house is, more than likely they're going to say Tom Ford, and they're going to be right. Definitely, Tom Ford is one of my favorite houses ever. I love a lot of their products. But lately, in the last few years, I've not loved every single fragrance that he's released, some were okay, some were great, and some were just not really my cup of tea and were a bit of a disappointment for a diehard Tom Ford fan like myself. That Soleil Neige in that beautiful Private Blend white bottle looks absolutely gorgeous. You can get them in two sizes. They have a 50 mil for 240, and then they have the 250 mil decanter for 615. Unfortunately, I don't own a full bottle of Soleil Neige, but I do have a decant, which I've gone through quite a bit of it, getting to know the fragrance. The notes are bergamot, carrot seeds, jasmine petals, orange flower, caramel floor captive, Turkish rose, labdanum, benzoin, and vanilla. Soleil Neige is definitely a beautiful fragrance, albeit a little hard to explain. Being the diehard Tom Ford fan that I am, I'll do my best to express what I get from the fragrance. For me, all of the notes and accords in Soleil Neige are contained within a sphere, a round, luminous sphere that never lets the notes ever get out from this sphere that they're in. The notes play very harmoniously together, and nothing ever gets too loud. It's pretty much at a steady volume. This opens sweet, not overly, just subtly sweet, and definitely floral. The floral aspects of this fragrance are clear and present from the start, but it's not too heady, too feminine, or too much. It's nice, something that a guy would feel comfortable wearing. In the mid right down you have just a little bit of resinous notes, nothing too smoky or anything of that nature. The dry down, you have that dry vanilla, that dry grown up vanilla that they've been using lately in fragrances such as um, Vanille Fatale and uh, Metallique. It's nice, but it's all maintained within this sphere, or in my case, this sphere, like this sphere it is very close to the skin. Smells fantastic if you come up close to me, but it doesn't project very far. For me, it's not one of the most powerful or wow factor Tom Fords that I've experienced. And I just gotta tell you how it is. So I would definitely suggest you try it because I've been wrong on other Tom Fords before. I was not a big fan of Soleil Blanc, the original, and I wasn't a fan of the Noir Extreme, but a lot of people loved both of those fragrances. For me, the problem was not the actual aroma, but their performance. They were very close to the skin, too close to the skin for my taste. All right, my friends, that's my thoughts on the new Tom Ford Private Blend, Soleil Neige, short and sweet like I always do. I'd love to offer the rest of this to camp to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon to miss notifications when the reviews of content, new releases, giveaways, and all the fragrant fun always happening right here at BFL. You take care, stay blessed, and I will see you in the next review.